Enter the Wilderness First Sunday of Lent A Short Worship for the Week of 6 March 2022 Drawing Closer to God The purpose of Lent is to focus with intensity on Christ and to make room within for God's redemptive and creative power. It is about self-examination, confession, correction, forgiveness. The Temptations of Christ in the Wilderness Now Jesus, full of the Holy Spirit, was led around by the Spirit in the wilderness for forty days, and he ate nothing during those days. When the time had ended, he was hungry. There he was tempted by the devil, and the devil said to him, If you are the Son of God, tell this stone to become bread. And Jesus answered him, It is written, Man shall not live by bread alone. And he led him up and showed him all the kingdoms of the world in a moment of time. And the devil said to him, I will give you all this domain and its glory, for it has been handed over to me, and I give it to whomever I want. Therefore, if you worship before me, it shall all be yours. Jesus replied to him, It is written, You shall worship the Lord your God and serve him only. And he brought him into Jerusalem and had him stand on the pinnacle of the temple and said to him, If you are the Son of God, throw yourself down from here, for it is written, He will give his angels orders concerning you to protect you, and on their hands they will lift you up so that you do not strike your foot against the stone. And Jesus answered and said to him, It has been stated, you shall not put the Lord your God to the test. And so when the devil had finished every temptation, he left him until an opportune time. Consider your own desert places. What are you called to release and resist in the desert? When do you justify saying yes when the invitation is to say no? How do you discern the difference between the two? A prayer of remembrance and shalom. God of shalom, as we enter the season of Lent, may we be awake to the opportunities for renewal 
and change, that we can be your agents for peace in our daily life. May we actively seek peace in our personal lives and set aside the time to be still and listen to your voice that calls us again and again to be peacemakers. May we seek peace in our families when tempers are frayed and voices are raised in frustration or anger. May we take a moment to breathe and step back and collect our thoughts and respond from a place of love and compassion. May we seek peace for all humankind. We have inherited a world of great diversity in faith practices and our understanding of you. Our differences can quickly become obvious to everyone and judgmental attitudes can form. May we work toward justice and equal opportunities for all. For without justice, peace will be difficult to create and sustain. May we remember in times of trouble, when we find ourselves in the wilderness, you are also present as our sustainer and comforter. May we endeavor always to seek peace in harmony with your spirit and with a depth of compassion for our world so that your shalom can rise in glory throughout all of creation. This is my prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. God's kingdom cannot be given or taken, only lived. It belongs not to one, but to all. The road to its gate is not success, but humility. God bless us all as we begin this Lenten journey.